couple hours. My face just started swelling. So my lips swelled. I could hardly talk. My whole face felt like it was on fire. First Coast News is not identifying the man from this procedure, but the patient said he began feeling off in October of 2023. 30 years ago, he had neuroblastoma, which removed a cancerous tumor in his nose and left him with an extremely compromised immune system. Over the course of a few hours last week, his face became extremely swollen. I started getting nosebleeds, constant nosebleeds. I couldn't even get up to go to the bathroom without my nose starting to bleed. And that's when he went to HCA Florida Memorial Hospital. When I went for the examination, doctor goes, I see movement. Dr. David Carlson was the ENT on call that night. We took a little camera and we looked in the nose and that's when things dramatically changed. Dozens of bugs alive and feeding on the inside of the patient's nose and sinus cavity. Size wise, you know, there was variations, but but some of the larger ones were as probably as big as the end of my pinky. I knew he was in big trouble. There was erosion that was occurring up near what we call the skull base that was in very close proximity to his eye and his brain. Dr. Carlson immediately tried to remove the bugs. We initially attempted to try to remove these via suction with a little device, but it ended up clogging up the suction. They were, they were large enough I couldn't get them through the suction. So we ended up having to remove them one by one using different instrumentation. And it hurt because they weren't coming willingly either. 150 bugs in the larva stage were pulled out of the patient's nose and have been sent off to an epidemiologist to determine what type of bug they are. They were up right against his skull base, right underneath the brain. Had they gone through that, it could have killed him. This case is extremely rare. There's nothing like it documented in the United States.